1-800-570-6418 and order water jet today. On July 13th, the Senate Judiciary Committee is expected to vote on Supreme Court nominee Elena Kagan, a pick some have criticized for blocking military recruiters from Harvard Law School's Office of Career Services. But many think she got through that controversy with flying colors. Earlier, I spoke with Delaware Senator Ted Kaufman, who questioned Kagan this week and actually knew her for a long time before she became a nominee to the nation's highest court. Senator, thank you very much for your time. You've hey, had you. an exceptionally busy week this yeah. week, uh, and primarily with the confirmation hearings for Elena Kagan, the right. Solicitor General. Uh, let me ask you, first of all, how important do you think these hearings are? Once you have the nominee, you've seen their record, right. now you get to talk to them. Yeah, I know it's really important. It sometimes may seem like we're just going through the motions, and sometimes it depends on who the president picks to be the Supreme Court Justice. I think it is a good test of people, uh, of where they stand, what they're about, how they stand up to toughness, how committed are they to what they believe and do they know what they believe in. The toughest issue for her that she's had to answer again and again is this issue of military yeah, recruiting yeah, on the campus. When yeah, she was the dean at Harvard yeah, Law School, yeah. how do you think she's handled that? What happens a lot of times in these things is people want to approach, approach this as if she wasn't the dean of the Harvard Law School, she was the czar of the Harvard Law School. I mean, some of these things, I mean, Harvard Law School, I mean, it, it, it is, a, as somebody said in the things, it's not a place where there's a whole lot of people getting ready to come together and sing out a kumbaya and march off in the sunset. I mean, she brought in a number of very conservative conservative uh, law professors to the Harvard Law School. So, you know, she was in a position where she had, just like she's going to have in the court, she had precedent. Where was Harvard Law School before she got there? She had pretty well established uh, what her options were, and I think she's done a good job. How do you think she's done as Solicitor General? I know some of the senators yeah. have questioned her judgment about yeah. certain cases that she's yeah. agreed to take or not yeah. to take, yeah. um, and questioning whether she's letting her personal politics yeah. get involved. Yeah, it's hard to find it. I know her, and she's very, very smart. She's down the middle. She's a lawyer's lawyer. You know, she will she'll make the argument for her client. So, you know, she's a solicitor general of the United States. You're not in a position. You don't sit there and make the decision on what cases you'll handle and not handle all by yourself. A lot of it has to do with what the administration's uh, policy is. You are a member of the administration. She's not, I mean, she, she really does call them as you see them. She's not someone that I think has a, a strong ideological base to what she does. She's been pretty much, you know, down the middle, you know, kind of person. And she's trying to answer a lot of questions about the fact that she's worked in politics, she's been part of different administrations. Do you think she's done a good enough job in distinguishing her work there yeah. from what she would be doing as yeah. a justice? I don't think anybody's accusing her of being political with regard to the, to the, uh, the uh, Solicitor General. They're saying they may not agree with the decisions she made and what case she bring. The Supreme Court is the place where we really make the big decisions about the country. We should have people that have various working experiences. That's what I liked about her. She's worked in all three branches of government. She's been in the executive branch. She's been in the judicial branch. She's been in the, in the, in the Congress. So I, you know, I really thought the fact that you have political background is good. All right, well, as we told you, the Senate Judiciary Committee is set to vote July 13th on her nomination. From there, she would go to the full Senate. That committee is made up of 12 Democrats and seven Republicans, so she is expected to get through the committee with no trouble at all, although she could even pick up a GOP vote or two. We'll have to see about that. Uh, then she gets to the full Senate, where today we got several uh, senators telling us they are a no. Senator Hatch and also the top Republican in the Senate, Mitch McConnell. He says he is not going to vote yes either. We'll keep you updated as more of those come in. Thanks for being with us tonight. I had a great time. Greta is back for you next week. In the meantime, make sure you follow us on Twitter. You can sign up to get tweets every time something is posted on Greta Wire. Just go to twitter.com slash Greta Wire. Until then, keep it right here on